one of the most powerful tools that we have is speech. Speech is the way that we interact and communicate with the world around us. We say hello, we're friendly, we say good morning, we say good night. We could also use it, unfortunately, in a negative way and say things that aren't as nice. I hope that over the summer so far, you've been using your speech positively. In this week's Parsha, Korach uses his speech to gather 250 people against Moshe. And you know, it's an interesting thing to think about. Who are they most interested in protecting? Who generally has our best interests in mind? Sometimes we think that it's the people we're hanging out with right now, right, right this moment, and we make choices based on what we think our friends want us to do. One of the people that Korach gathered was a man by the name of On Ben Pelet, and his wife said, listen, On, you're not going to benefit at all whether Korach wins or Moshe wins. You're still just going to be you. See, she had On's best interest in mind, and it still gives us a chance to think about when we're doing things, we're making decisions, choices, and choosing our behaviors. Whose best interest do we have in mind? Are we doing things for ourselves, or are we checking to see what our friends think of our choices? Keep this in mind over the summer and see what kind of choices we make. Who are we trying to impress? Are we proud of ourselves? Do we feel good about the choices that we're making? Are you Shabbat ready Shalom. Or not? Are you ready for Shabbat? Are you-